Good day everyone! Today is going to be a great day because we will be learning something new and something relevant. It has something to do with communication, media, and information and how these three are interrelated with each other. By the way, I am Teacher Roland and I will be your teacher for today. So are you ready? Very good! Let's get started. First, let's look at this picture. What do you think is the message behind this picture? You are right. The picture describes a couple who went out for a date but they were not able to communicate intimately because they were very focused on their gadgets. They communicated using technology. That's sad. So why do you think that communication is important? Very good. Communication is very important to ensure understanding and harmony. As Webster Dictionary describes, communication is the act or process of using words, sounds, signs, or behaviors to express or exchange information or to express your ideas or your thoughts and even your feelings to someone. It is also the exchange of information and expression of feeling that can result in understanding. So what are the basic types of communication? We only have two. Can you guess what are those? You are right. We have the verbal and nonverbal communication. Here are the examples of verbal and nonverbal communication. We have for verbal, oral and written communication and for nonverbal we have the signs symbols colors gestures body language and facial expression and communication may not be completed without its process do you think communication has a process that's correct communication is a process and here is an example of a communication process which is taken from the model of Shannon and Weaver. Communication starts from the sender or the source of information and encoder or the transmitter. The information sent by the sender passes through a channel, then there's decoding until it reaches the receiver. And when the receiver gives a feedback, the process will be reversed. The elements such as the sender, encoder, channel, decoder, and receiver are all very important. They all play a major role in ensuring that communication flow is flawless. The process being shown is applicable through applications such as using of gadgets, we have calls, text messages, video conference, and many more. Now, let's go to media. So what is media? Media refer to various channels of communication between a person or persons and their intended audience. Television, radio, newspapers, and internet are different types of media. One of the oldest forms of media is print. Thanks to ever-changing technology, our exposure to media is almost non-stop. Media shapes our perception of what is real. It surrounds us in the form of billboards signages, and even the clothes you wear. We have radio, television, computers, and smartphones. We have the internet, online video channels, and sorts of all social media. So stop and look around. Media is everywhere. It's not going away anytime soon. So learn about it, understand it, and be media smart. Now, how is media or communication affected by media and information. Look at this picture. Media are used as communication tools, while information are data, knowledge derived from study, experience or instruction, signals or symbols. These are also knowledge of specific events or situation. Media are a good communication channel they make communication easier. People now can talk with each other even they are far from each other because of media. 
we have our cellular phones. We also have any gadget that we can use to have phone conversations, calls, video calls, chats, and many others. And that is the power of media. But communication using media can also be distracted at times, especially when people are spreading malicious, fake, or wrong information. I hope now you get the effect or how communication is being affected by media and information. So for your assignment, answer these two questions in a form of an essay. How do you use Facebook as a symbol or medium of communication? And number two, how did Facebook affect the change or change the way we communicate with other people? So that's it for today, class. See you again tomorrow. Have a nice day. Bye.